Hey, Jen here, and in this video, I wanna share with you why typical marketing is a waste of money, okay? So here's the situation. When we are new business owners, or even established business owners, and we're trying to get our name out there and spread the word about our business, one of the very first things that we do because we're told to, is to create a lot of content, content marketing to get your name out there. Typically what this looks like is creating blog posts, uh, taking the blog post and creating a social media post out of it, let's use Facebook as an example, and then boosting it on Facebook because we don't really understand how the advertising component of Facebook works, but the boost button is really simple, right? So we, we create a blog post, we put the link into our Facebook page, and we hit the boost button, and we are hoping that people will know about our businesses and know about us and wanna do business with us. So the problem with that is that it's not a viable strategy. I work with Facebook advertisers and Facebook advertising experts and they will tell you that boosting a post on Facebook is not actually a really viable strategy for generating leads in your business. The algorithm has changed. You may have seen that the big public announcements from uh, Facebook uh, around Facebook advertising and how it has become much more focused on building community and creating interesting relevant content that your community is really going to love and blog posts haven't ever come up in any of that conversation so what I figured out was that writing blog posts and boosting them in my advertising budget was really a complete waste of money boosting those posts is not going to get it in front of my audience and it's really not a viable use of a Facebook advertising strategy Instead, what I started doing was giving Facebook what it wanted in terms of helping Facebook create community and create stronger um, community experiences within the platform. Specifically, I'm talking about Facebook groups. Now, you don't necessarily have to use a Facebook group, but you do need to create some type of community or a movement that people are getting behind in your business and in your brand. That's why I created the brand and the movement and the community called Boss Women Rock because it's not just about me, it's about this community of boss women who rock and are there to support each other. So that's kind of the big reason why wasting you're wasting money in your advertising and your marketing is because the algorithms have changed and creating blog posts and then boosting them is not really a, a really um, solid Facebook advertising strategy. So the other thing to consider is that when you're feeling like you're wasting money in your marketing, I want to I want to challenge you to go back and look at the tone of the marketing. Is it very promotional and about you, or is it about that community that you're serving? All of your content that you're creating should be around answering the most commonly asked questions that come up or the biggest challenges that your community faces. So you'll need to do some listening and some asking and some finding out, researching what are the actual problems and questions that your community is facing, and then create your content around that. Less about you, more about them. There's a concept in marketing called the buyer's journey. And I'm gonna explain this really simply. But everyone, when they're making a buying decision, is on a journey, okay? So your buyer on a journey, buyer's journey, and as a business owner, it's our responsibility to meet the buyer on the journey and to help them walk through that sales process from start to finish. Now, most people are not walking around realizing that they have all these problems that they need to solve, to solve and on the look for someone to help them solve the problem immediately like, like today. Most people are not. In fact, 99% of people are not what we call now buyers. Now buyers are people looking to solve the problem today, right now, immediately. And so if your marketing that you're doing or your advertising, this could be print ads. If your print ads that you're doing, like in magazines or in publications or newspapers or wherever, just says call for a free consultation or call now to schedule right now, basically your marketing is gonna be a waste of money because you're only focusing on the now buyers. You're only focusing on people that are looking to solve that problem right now. But 99% of the market is a future buyer. They, don't, they might not even be aware of the problem, and they might be in the research stage 
trying to research and understand this problem better, looking at what their options are, and then actually researching the best provider for them. So you all need to have your marketing set up to market to the 99% of the population, the future buyers, because then you'll get a better return on investment. And doing things like boosting posts on Facebook or creating call now for a free consultation, calls to action in your print ads, is basically a waste of money because you're only marketing to the now buyers and not to the future buyers. So one thing that I like to recommend is to, um, to, to think about your marketing and think about it as a buyer's journey. Thinking about at the very beginning, how is a potential client going to find out about you? How are they going to be aware that they have a problem that they need to be solved? How are they going, how are you going to communicate to them that your brand has the solution to this problem that they need to become aware of? And how are you going to prove it to them that you can actually help them? It's called a concept called social proof. So you'll need marketing content that addresses all of these various stages in the buyer's journey, not just marketing to the now buyers. I guarantee if you implement um, buyer's journey style marketing that you'll see a much better return on investment in your marketing. It just works, okay? So my call to action for you is to go ahead and take a look at your website or take a look at the most recent marketing piece that you created. Maybe you just created a brochure or a flyer or something. Does it say call now for a free consultation? Does it say about us on the top of your website? If it says about us and it has a call now option, like call now for a free consultation, and you don't have a way of capturing people, explaining to them, that, you know, ca capturing their attention, capturing their emails, and nurturing them along that buyer's journey, then you're missing out on 99% of the revenue opportunity to come from out of your marketing. So that's my challenge to you today. My call to action on the end of this video is to go ahead and take a look at your own marketing and give yourself a score, maybe on a one to 10. Do you need to revamp your marketing to be more about solving problems for people along this buyer's journey? Do you have the ability to capture their email address? Do you have the, the ability to put them into some kind of a community with you? Do you have the ability to nurture that relationship through time? Do you have the ability to capture 99% of the, the future buyers? All right, so that's all that I've got for net for now. If you have any questions about the buyer's journey or using Facebook advertising or doing any of the, the things that you're spending money on marketing, if you want me to provide some free coaching, some free advice on how to make your business produce or your marketing produce a better return on investment for your business, just leave me a comment down below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks.